Well, you're a very distinguished Canadian, but what have you got to tell nurses? Oh, my mother was a nurse? I didn't know that. Yep. My mother was in the class of uh, 1900 from at uh, New York General Hospital. She went from Huron County, Clinton, down. And she her trinity was God and her matron and, uh, and her doctor. Well, I told the nurses, you want me to tell you what I told those nurses about? Really? Uh, because I have some idea and because we've got some kids in the audience, I'm not sure. <laughs> I told him about the great Melvin Arbuckle, an unknown, unsung Canadian, and then these kids. He's a psychiatrist today. You want me to tell him I that? Lo I love Melvin Arbuckle. Well, this when when I was a kid, I grew up with a guy named Mel Arbuckle, and he's a famous psychiatrist now out on the West Coast, and. And he, he had a really weird grandpa who was always getting lost and wouldn't let anybody get behind him. And, uh, and one day, and he was always going out to the back house in the, uh, from spring through right till fall, like he'd be out there all the time. And we decided to get a cave, and another kid whose father was working at a strip mining company got three sticks of dynamite. And we got, you know, I put the fuse in the detonating cap and put it down and everything. And we're going to blow it just like halfway between the back porch and the back house. And uh, he lit it. And then the grandpa got up from his nap to go out to get lost again. <laughs> and he went out and he made it to the back house. And it blew up. <laughs> you know, it blew a great hole. My God, it was just huge. And the, the back house went up, too, and Melvin's grandpa, about six feet, is the first thing to come to Earth, according to Newton's. There's a law of physics called Newton's Law of Falling Back Houses, you know. <laughs> Honest, it says any back house, no, any, yeah, any falling back, this is a law of physics. <laughs> any falling back house shall always come to rest on the door side. <laughs> so, you got, you got a loved one. If you got a, a loved one trapped in there, you aren't going to get him out on the vertical. You got to bring him out through the hole. You know. Anyway, after that, Melvin's, <laughs> Melvin's grandpa, he never got lost again. You know, he he just stayed in the house for two years and then he died. And. <laughs> And and this so this Mel Arbuckle, he's a psychiatrist today out in on the West Coast. Melvin Arbuckle, uh, it makes you kind of feel warm to know as a fellow Canadian who at the age of twelve, the first known use of shock therapy for the mentally ill. <laughs> and that's what I told the nurses down there. <laughs>